Hello students, you are once again welcome to the second part of our discussion on Kingdom Animalia. In continuation of the previous video, I will commence with Philon and a leader. One of the most popular organisms under this phylum is called the headworm. This picture illustrates how an headworm looks like. What are the features of organisms under phylum and a leader? These organisms occur in moist soil, fresh water, and the sea. Their body is soft and segmented. They are triploblastic in nature with bilateral symmetry. They are the first animals with a body cavity. This body cavity is called the psyllium. Their body is covered with a non chitonous cuticle, which may have chitonous setae or parapodia. Reproduction is generally bisexual means, but some may reproduce asexually by rejuvenation, that is, by regrowing broken segments of their body. Common examples of organisms in this phylum are Nereus, which is the sandworm, Aphrodite, which is the sea mouse, Ferretima, which is the earthworm, and Erudinaria, which is also known as leech, phylum Atropoda. These are also called animals with jointed legs, and the most popular of, of them is scorpion. This picture illustrates how a scorpion looks like. What are the features of organisms under phylum Atropoda? This is the largest phylum in the animal kingdom. Their body is bilaterally symmetrical and segmented. By segmentation, I mean their body is divided into head, thorax, and abdomen. These organisms possess jointed legs, which may be modified for walking, swimming, feeding, and feeling. Exoskeleton is chitinous, which is shed periodically by molting. Their body cavity is reduced and filled with blood called emosuel. Respiration is carried out with the use of lungs, book lung, and trachea. Popular examples of organisms in this phylum are apis, the honeybee, arania, which is also known as the spider, palemon, which is also known as prong, scolopendra, which is also known as centipede, phylum mollusca. Phylum Mollusca is the second largest phylum in the animal kingdom. One of the most popular organisms in this phylum is the snail. This picture illustrates how a snail looks like. What are the features of organisms under phylum Mollusca? Organisms that belong to this phylum are aquatic in nature, but some still live on land. Their body is soft and segmented into three regions, which are the head, the dorsal viscera mass, and ventral foot. Also, their body is enclosed in a hard castor shell, which is used for defense. Mollusks that live in water use gills for breathing. Why those that live on land use lungs for breathing? That means they have two organs for breathing. Those living in water use gills for breathing, while those who live in, on the land use lungs for breathing. Mollusks have separate sexes, that is, there are male and female mollusks. Common examples are cheetah, snail, Freshwater Museum and Octopus. Phylum Echinodermata. The most popular organisms under this phylum is Asteria. 
which is also known as starfish. This picture illustrates how a starfish looks like. What are the features of organisms under phylum Echinodermata? They are free living organisms, but most of them are aquatic. At the larval stage, Echinoderms are bilaterally symmetrical, but at the adult stage, they are radially symmetrical. They have a complete digestive system, that is, they can eat their food through their mouth, digest the food, and dispose the waste through the henos. They also possess an organ called tube feet. This organ is used for locomotion, respiration, and feeding. Two feet are extended and retracted by variations in hydraulic pressure of the fluid in them and contraction of their muscles. Organisms that belong to phylum Echimodermata also possess a unique nervous system which has a central nerve ring with five radiating nerves. Reproduction is sexual because their separates that their sexes are separate. Phylum Echinodermata, Abi Phylum Chodata. Examples of organisms under Phylum Chodata are called the box fish, and this picture illustrates how a box fish looks like. What are the features of organisms under phylum Chodata? Organisms under phylum Chodata are all aquatic in nature. That is, none of these, one, none of the organisms under phylum Chodata lives on land. They are bilaterally symmetrical. Their body has two cell layers, tissues and organs. Most of these organisms possess a true gut with a non-terminal anus. They have an open circulatory system. They are organisms without a excretory organ. Reproduction is through sexual means. They feed autotrophically, that is, they depend on themselves for food. This is the end of the second part of study session 5. Thanks for listening.